everyone, it's Kay from Craft with Kay. How are we all doing? In the room with me is of course the wonderful Piggle and Captain Bimble. Bimble! So as you can see, we've got an unbagging. Now this was a PR package, I believe, sent from the wonderful people at Everyday Eagles. Which is really cool because I've not used them before. I can tear into it. But I'm super excited. So see how other people try them out and whatnot, so yeah. So let's have a look, see what we got. We got some goodies. Oh, right. off to the side that goes. Got these and these. So let's have a look at these first because I'm really curious about these. Because I've not seen these before. And I thought these would be a lovely idea for pickle. Not for her to do, but once they're done, she'll play with them. a coaster and she loves round things so I reckon I once like once I've put the drawers on it I'll seal it and then she'll have it and she'll just play with it so we've got this one comes with standard tool kit pen tray and wax and we've got one two three four five colors so let's do it from the back here it's got five colors I'll bring the light over here a bit more there we go. So we've got blue, like clear silver, pink, aqua, and gold. So this would be a nice, quick little project. But I thought it was really cute, and I love the idea of these. I've not seen these before. So why not? Put that off to the side. So yeah, I thought, you know, this would be a lot of fun. So everything will be linked down below. Hey, so this one's a little gnome. I've not done any gnomes yet, but I see them all the time. So again, let's see how many colours we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one's got six. And these are all like rhinestones. So we've got an aqua, uh, brown, green, red, gold, and clear silver. Nice. And again, same toolkit. So yeah, I thought it was quite nice idea. And it's a Christmas theme. Because, you know, it's now September. Ooh, it's September. So it won't be long. So yeah, I thought the coasters would be a great fun idea. And Pickle will absolutely adore playing with them afterwards. So, let's see. Let's do this one next thing as it's got clear casing. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what we got. So, can I get the drill there? There we go. Oh, that's cool. These are all baggies. So they're all bagged up, ready to go. Nice. I like that. And there's the toolkit. Again, bog standard toolkit. Let's just roll this the other way. Because it's uh, double, because it's poured glue, you can roll it back the other way. There we go, look, it's a little gnome and it says boo, it's a Halloween one. So whenever you want to straighten these sort of things out, you can just pull back the cover a little bit and just roll it back down. Help flatten it out. If you keep it um, flattened, maybe under the books or under your mattress or something, the crease, any sort of creases and stuff will come out in no time. I love poured glue because it can take a lot of work and abuse. But those will look really cool. So we've got a little kitty, a spider, some pumpkins, a uh, pumpkin spider web thing, and a gnome. Witch gnome. So yeah, it's, I thought it was really cute. A nice, quick, easy project to be able to do during the month of Halloween. So yeah, we've got a couple of colours. How many we've got? 19 colours. I'm not going to get them out of the baggies. And it's a round drill, 30 by 40. So yeah, this will be good to do. Let's just pop this one away. And keep it all rolling. I say links for everything will be kept down below. Can I put it back in the baggie? Yes, I can. Just about. There we go. Huzzah! Yeah. Right, 
Let's see. I'm literally just randomly grabbing. So let's see what is this one. There we go. Do, 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 do. Right, so we've got another uh, bog standard basic toolkit. So I like that they're very consistent. Hey, and they're baggies again. Got a random yellow on there. But that's awesome. I like that they're coming in baggies. Oh, look, these ones have got a diamond shape on the front as well. That's cool. I've not seen those before. Let's have a look see. So this one is a cute little 30 by 30 Christmas mouse and a stocking in a tree. I thought how cute can you get? It is round drill and Pickle is very amused by something, I don't know what. But I thought it looked so bright and colourful and cheery. How could I not go ahead and try and do it? There we go. Look at that dude. He looks so cute. This one's got 21 colours. Looks like I've not seen these baggies before, so yay. Look forward to that. I'm loving the bright colours. That's going to be awesome to do. Look at him, he looks so cute. Now, I do not like mice or rats or anything like that, but he looks so freaking adorable. How could you say no to that little face? <laughs> What's so funny over there? I can say no to that little voice. <laughs> Alright, we got two more left. Let's do this one first. Ooh, what we got? I'm super excited. There we go. So this one is ha ha a special drill one because I wanted to see what the special drills were like as well. Oh, cool! This one is standard toolkit, but with the addition of some tweezers. These are just flimsy little tweezers, but they're handy to get a project done if you should need to. That's cool. So we've got some chunky ones for different colours. Let's have a look at what. I got because I can't actually remember. I remember now. So it's not my typical sort of image, but I loved all the colours and stuff. So this is just a partial special drill canvas. So as in, so the background, you don't do any of the background. You do a little bit of the flowers and a little bit around the heart. So just where you see some symbols. I can get it to focus so it's just a couple here and there but I thought I love the colors and it'd be really interesting to see um, and yeah let's have a look let's get these ones out these are on a string when I say a string like they're all connected and they're special drills let's have a look see we all know what round drills look like so there's no need to get those out but let's have a look so we've got some gold tear shape. What's going on with my lighting? Let's try that. So I've got some gold lighting, some big, like A, B, clear circles. What's so funny? Some pinks, light pink, a darker pink, purple, a red, gold, clear white, or silver rather, uh, blue and orange. Nice. So that'll actually come out quite nice. I like all the, like I say, I love the colours in this. What's so funny? I know, she's so mean. She never lets us in on the jokes. I think that's why she laughs. She laughs at us because she won't let us in. But yeah, I thought it was a really cute little image. It's 30 by 30. Again, it won't take long at all. Nice little project to do to keep you busy between the bigger kits and stuff. Because if you're anything like me, I do a lot of the large kits. But I don't really do many smaller kits. But they're great to have a little snack size kit between big ones. <laughs> She's in hysterics. I have no idea why. Right, last one. What we got? 
<laughs> She's so happy. If you can hear her in the background. Oh, yeah. Now this one I was really fascinated by. Yeah. Oh, well, it's 24 colours. And it's 30 by 30. And can I get into it? Why can't I find... Okay, it's all the way down there. Okay. So we've got... Ah, the toolkit's slightly different this time. So we've got a couple of baggies, a bow, a pen. Ah, but no wax this time. That's fine. It's not like I need the wax, but yeah. We have got the drills. Again, it's a round. Lots of blues and purples and stuff. And let's roll this back. Now, with this kit, it's a glow-in-the-dark kit. So, imagine seeing that glow-in-the-dark. So, I believe... So number 24 is going to be the glow in the dark because it's got a slightly different, if I can get it to focus, YG01. And it's basically where it's a clear. So in the eyes, in the whiskers. So eyes and whiskers are going to glow. I reckon you could probably sprinkle some around the tops of the ears or something maybe. But yeah, it's a glow in the dark and I just wanted to see what it looked like. I haven't done any specific glow in the dark kits the kits that i've added glow in the dark drills to are ones that i've actually added glow in the dark drills to so it's my own uh thing so yeah i've got purples browns and blacks with a brown in there more purple browns different browns beige blues they two the same. No, they're slightly different. More blues, more blues, more blues, dark blues, darker blue, more of an aqua, yellowish, grey. That's got like a tinge of green. It's white with a tinge of green. Blue, beigey, brownie. This one. Ah, oh, this one's the glow in the dark. That's cool. They look like jellies. I wonder. So usually you have to activate them by keeping them under sunlight or a UV light or something. My light over here is pretty good actually at activating. Certainly the glow in the dark drawers I've used before. But these are like jellies. What I'll do is I'll see if I can get these to activate a bit. And I'll show you at the end if I've managed to do so. If not, you'll have to wait until I complete the kit. But yeah, that's not a bad, uh, bad little hole, is it? So one second, right? So here we have our projects. So yeah, lots of colourful ones to do. I'm really intrigued by the glow in the dark. But yeah, I've got something for Halloween, something for Christmas, and potentially something for Valentine's actually. So yeah, lots of little projects. Again, these are going to be great fun, mostly because I know my daughter is going to absolutely adore these. But yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Embrace the love. And thank you again to everyone at Everyday Eaters. Bye guys!